Might need to be neutral. We got a, another bike running. A little bit of fresh gas. A little bit of starter fluid. And a little bit of electricity. Definitely need a new battery, but. Oh, now she don't want to go. Now she don't want to go. Take the battery off for she dies. We need a new battery for sure. Um, this one over here. This exhaust top bolt right there. This is an exhaust bolt. Definitely an exhaust leak in there. This is kind of sketchy back here as well. This bike probably hasn't ran in four, five, six years. Also, when I turned it on, that was full. So it definitely needs... Oh, there's some oil there. Not a lot of oil. So definitely should, definitely could use some oil, but I need to figure out what engine this is. I don't remember what engine he had in this thing. And so the next step for me would be figuring out where, where it would be labeled. So if you guys have any ideas on that, you can let me know, that'd be cool. Cause I don't really know what engine this is. He told me, I think it's a 125 something. So you can tell me where to look. That'd be great. Also this whole, this system right here is not working great. There's leaking, I mean, that's, that's wet down there, you can see. So, there's definitely some, oh, it's dripping, right? Where's it dripping at? Dripping right up from underneath there. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, you can see where it's dripping. Oh, 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 oh. Coming from underneath there. So, yeah. I don't know, it ain't perfect, but that's uh, two bikes running. It's really good. I'm gonna pull up the scooter and see if I can get the scooter started. No, that'd be real. That'd be real interesting if I can get that thing started. It's funny as I'm pulling this scooter out. So maybe trying to get this one started as well. Look at that battery. And look at that battery. They're about the same. That battery's a little bit bigger, but if I could squeeze a bigger battery in there, that'd be cool too. So we're gonna hook this one up to the shadow and give her a whirl and see what happens. Maybe a little bit of starter fluid. I already had this one taken apart a little bit. I think I made a video about it a little bit, but I just have the air box off and the air filter. Let me some starter fluid in there. I think the issue was this was bad because I think they have another one, but there was another one somewhere. Somewhere. Actually, I think I have it. I had it somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Nice chunk of junk stuff. I thought I had one. That's not it. That's my even better. Whew. Dustin. So I thought I had one. I don't know if I have one or not, but anyway. We'll hook her up and see what happens. Throw a little bit of fresh gas in there with the bad gas and hope for the best. So I'll hook jumps up to that, bring them over here, and we'll see what happens. Um, um, keys. I need the keys. <laughs> Mount key go into.
What's going on here? Can I look at the gills? Let me, let me see what's going on here. Okay, got it. Don't know how. Let's horn test. <laughs> horn test weak. Lights. No lights. Start. I'm gonna need two hands here, but we'll try to do. Here, we can do this, I guess. Oh, give her a little bit of gas. She's gonna go, I think. Brakes are permanently on, but try to guess what happens here. All right, so just my dumb brain thinking here, it's empty. That means it's not getting, it's not, the gas ain't going from here to there, right? So I pulled this apart and no gas came out here. So it's gotta be here where the gas gets up. I'm gonna pull this off, see if gas comes out of here. If that happens, then it's gonna suck here, I'm assuming. That'd be my guess, right? Right? I think so. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna pull the whole carburetor out. It's right there. Um, very simple. Just took the gas line out, hooked it back up to the vacuum, uh, detached the throttle cable. Um, I ended up leaving the vacuum lines in here and the intake in there as well. So here's what we got. I fucked that up, but here we are. We'll see. We'll see what we got here going on. course come on focus oh let's hold there can we not do that please thanks i'll show you guys in a minute i pulled the carburetor off and i wonder if this is a vacuum line at the bottom here i'm sure a hole in the vacuum line wouldn't be helpful i do not know for sure if i did that though I was taking it off, or if I didn't, I, I'm not too sure. But if that wasn't me, that could be it. All right, got all the bikes put away because the bad thing about this garage is that uh, bugs. The garage opening the bikes out, the bugs get in here, and they go crazy, and it's annoying. But I'm kind of wrapping up point here. I pull all this stuff out. I don't really know <laughs> what I'm doing. Um, honestly, I'm probably, probably going to buy a whole new carburetor and then buy a whole new... Uh, that a whole new vacuum thing um just buy them and put them in there they weren't too expensive there's a little part diagram over there they have the, the, the prices on which probably is not accurate anymore but um it should be close enough but honestly i was just trying to pull this apart kind of see how it works just learn a little bit 
Um, already stripped two bolts and stuff like that. So um, pulled the floats out, pulled this out, pulled this fucking thing out, all the jets and stuff. So I kind of know a little bit more about carburetors now than what I did before, but still not enough to, uh, you know, do anything, which scares me even more for this. But, you know, whatever. Um, so we're going to end it here. Uh, I'm actually going to look up the part costs now and stuff like that. So I'll probably show you guys that, but I'm not going to get into too much more now. So I'm going to come over here. Take a look at uh, my wallet's in my back pocket still. It's not comfortable. But this is the part list. Does it have like a company name I'm looking for? Nope, just a parts list. So 14 it was. 14 is carburetor. It says it's $63.99. Wish there was a uh Um, a link for what website this is, but we'll go on there. We'll figure it out. I'm going to hop on the computer right now and try to find it. So we'll see. Found this one on Amazon for 25 bucks. Found another one for like 50 bucks, but I mean, this looks like the same thing. I don't know. This one actually has it for wildfire here. Zoom, zoom parts. So I don't know. I guess we'll see on the reviews. So, probably go with that one. But anyway, guys, we're going to end it there. Um, I don't really know what I got in this video, but kind of just work on some bikes. Uh, I'm going to be working on getting the GoPro set up on the helmet and clean out the helmet and getting that going so we can get some motor vlogs uh, happening. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys in the next one.